In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up your Scala audio interface in Open Broadcaster software, OBS. I'll be demonstrating setting up a microphone and a guitar track into my Scala interface, then setting up a scene within OBS using my internal webcam to stream alongside my microphone and guitar tracks. We'll be going through the following. Setting up your Scala interface with your machine, downloading and setting up the OBS software for video, setting up OBS for audio from your Focusrite interface, setting up your microphone and instrument, mixing within OBS and testing, and finally streaming. You'll need the following things, your Focusrite audio interface and a webcam. For this tutorial, I'll be using my internal webcam. You'll also need monitors or headphones and the instruments you'll be using to stream. In this case, I'll be using a guitar and a microphone. We recommend using headphones so that no sound from your monitors is picked up by the microphone, inadvertently causing a feedback loop. First, take the provided USB cable and plug it into the back of your Focusrite device. Now connect the other end of the USB cable to your machine. Here I'm using a USB-C to C cable, but use whatever's available to you from the box. Now you have a choice to connect the Scarlett to monitors, headphones or both. I'll be using headphones, so I'll insert the jack from my headphones into the front of the Scarlett interface. Depending on your operating system and Scarlett device, you may need to download the software from a freely accessible software page in order for it to run. For example, if you're a PC user with a Scarlett 2i2 3rd gen, you'll need to install Focusrite Control which contains the required driver. Now navigate to the OBS website, obsproject.com. You'll land on a page where you'll see the options for both Windows or Mac. Download the version compatible with your operating system. Once the download is complete, double click the installer to run it and follow the instructions on screen, and then open up OBS. Now that you have OBS open, you should see this screen. If this is your first time, the centre screen should be black, like here. We'll start by setting up our webcam. At the bottom, you'll see Sources. Select the plus button and then select Video Capture Device. Here you'll be asked to create new or add existing. Make sure you check Create New. It's always advised to name everything, so here I'll be naming this source My Webcam. Make sure you check the Make Source Visible box as well. Select OK and the Device Properties window will appear. Here you can choose your video sources and adjust its settings. I'm going to select HP HD camera as I'm using my own built-in webcam. If your video resolution doesn't match your screen, you can set a custom resolution by scrolling down and locating resolution slash FPS type and selecting custom from the drop-down list. The resolution option should now be active. There are a few you can choose from, but we recommend using 1280 by 720. Now select OK and you should see your webcam as an active source within the OBS window. The red lines surrounding the image let you crop your image anywhere within the frame. They snap to the edges to better position your image. I've adjusted the image so it's slightly smaller and in the corner of my screen. It's time to source your audio. Once again, go to the source area and select the plus button and select audio input capture. Make sure the create new checkbox is ticked. We'll be renaming this to Scarlett 2i2 3rd Gen. You might be using a different interface, so name yours accordingly. Make sure you check the Make Source Visible box as well. Select OK and the Device Properties window will appear. Select next to where it says Device and choose from Focusrite USB, Focusrite USB Audio or Analog 1 and 2 Focusrite USB Audio from the drop-down list and select OK. Insert the XLR from the microphone into input 1. Remember, for microphones, there are two types you have to consider, dynamic or condenser. If you're using a condenser, you'll need 48V phantom power. You can achieve this by selecting the 48V button on the front of your Scala interface. A quick check test of the microphone will ensure the input signal is coming through. Check, check, one, two. As you can see, it's gone into the red. Scala interface inputs have gain halo meters, which makes it easier for you to set your input levels. To get a good sound, adjust the levels accordingly to the colour of the halos. Green means you're safe, and red means you're clipping. Check, check, one, two. 
Now insert the jack from the guitar into input two of the Scala. Remember to set this input to instrument mode. This can be done from the front panel on some devices and can be done from Focusrite control for the 4i4 and above. Remember, the same applies here. A quick strum of the guitar will ensure the input signal is coming through. I'll be adjusting the gain using the gain halo meters as a guide to get a good sound. To set this up, we'll go to the audio mixer and select the settings gear icon for Scarlett 2i2 3rd gen. From the list, we're going to select advanced audio properties. We now need to locate Scarlett from the left hand side and untick tracks 3, 4, 5 and 6 underneath where it says tracks. We'll also be setting the mix to mono. Before there's any confusion, this doesn't mean what you'll hear will only come out of one speaker. It means that you'll hear the mono instrument and microphone sounds in a stereo environment, i.e. two speakers. So check the mono box here. You'll also have the option of how you want to monitor your inputs under audio monitoring. We recommend leaving audio monitoring set to monitor off to avoid latency. Now we're gonna test our mix. The easiest way to monitor and mix your audio sources will be directly from your Scala interface. Select the direct monitoring button and mix your audio sources accordingly. As you can see I have my guitar in hand ready to go. A quick check into the microphone and strum of the guitar will ensure my input signals are coming through, like here. You can see both mono instrument sources are being played through the mixer, here. I'm now going to show you how to set up a Facebook live stream. This is correct at the time of filming, however this may change if Facebook makes adjustments to this feature. Please see Facebook support resources if you have any other questions. To link OBS to your streaming service, select File, Settings and then select the Streaming tab. We're going to be using Facebook to stream, so where it says Service, I'm going to select Facebook Live. You'll now be asked for the stream key. So at this point, open Facebook. I've created a private group. This is a great way of testing your stream without anyone being notified or being able to see you going live. I'm going to locate right post and select the live video option. where I'll be redirected to the Facebook live video settings page. Scroll down to where it says going live on Facebook and select use stream key. At this point, you want to scroll down again and locate the stream key. Highlight the code and select copy. Open up OBS and paste this code into where it says Stream Key and then select OK. What's up guys? As you can see, I've got OBS open right now. I've got my microphone and I've got my guitar and I'm ready to start live streaming on Facebook. At this point, you should have entered your Stream Key. You can do this by selecting File, Settings and then selecting the Stream tab. You can enter your Stream Key where it says Stream Key. Once you've done that, select Apply or OK. Now I'm going to show you what's going on on Facebook really quickly. I've got my Facebook Live video settings up. If you want to know where you can get your stream key, it's just over here. Copy and paste this into the stream settings section in OBS. Now if you notice, in the bottom right hand corner, it says waiting for live video. The point of this process is we want to display what's going on in OBS here. So if we go back to OBS, I'm going to make one really quick adjustment. I want to fill the screen. So I'm going to use the red arrows. Just going to snap it to the edge. Now once I've done that, I'm going to select start streaming. Now you click here, it says connecting to live video. You should be able to see what's going on in OBS on this screen here. Now I'm ready to go live, so I'm going to select go live. I'm not going to add a title to this, but you can. Press go live. I should tell you now that I've set up another computer which you're about to see on screen. This computer is going to tune into this live feed. This is so I can show you how I've tested the stream and what it's like from the audience's point of view. If you don't have another computer to tune into your stream, you can always use your phone. 
I should be able to get a notification from my other computer right now saying that I'm going live. And there it is. And here we go. So check, check, one, two. I'm just going to play a couple of bars on the bass right now. If you have any issues with this tutorial, you can contact support using the link below.